very, very concerned. Okay, so it's March 18th that, you know, it's very much of 2023. I guess we're back in the kitchen here. I have to be in here, right? Yeah, I can't dwell on my problems. Okay. So, what I've done for different reasons. Let me just turn this off. To be promoting peace and to, to really convey this uh, image of being a peaceful nation who's just trying to grow up peace, and then out of nowhere, they're going to blockade Taiwan. Okay, so basically, what I've done <coughs> is, um, I'm really dizzy today, people. You don't even know. Anyway, I work around it. Alright. I haven't been so sick in all my life. It's all stemming from these eye drops, I'm telling you. Yeah. Wait. My system is saturated with whatever's inside those bottles. Anyway, so now that I have quite a bit of staples to choose from in terms of variety, okay, and we know that Amari needs a replacement drink, whether in full or in part, it just would be a good idea. So if we can get to the in part of it, then we're on the right path because eventually you can wean them off of those supplemental drinks that the government gives you. Okay? But the thing is, for whatever reason, as soon as he switched over and the seizure came, and the seizure, like, I can't put my finger on what happened and exactly when it happened, but, you know, first the drinks were changed, then the seizure came, then the seizure medicine, and then Amari doesn't want to eat food. He just wants to drink. So, you know, and anything I feed him basically has to be pureed. Like before, I used to be able to do, right? Not anymore. I don't know. I don't know what it is, people. So, anyway. Oh my god. What the heck is going on here? There we go. So, so anyway. Now that I'm pretty much at the tail end of my food prep, except for putting away what I need to put away. Right? And a little bit of canning still. Like, I'm going to still do the butter. and <clears throat> That's after I go through this. Right? Because I, I, I got a few household appliances. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Because I'm opening up the boxes. I'm washing the appliance parts that need to be washed. And I'm trying to think in my head how I'm going to... Uh, Not, not only keep up with Andre, because Andre's just a gobble guts these days. So he needs access to, uh, you know, like I bought this rice cooker, for example, that can be used as a crock pot. You can actually cook a cake. I think you can even cook eggs in it if you want to. You can cook white rice, brown rice black rice, whatever, you mixed grains, right? It has a variety of settings on it. So I thought I'd try that, right? And try and get that situated on the counter after all this stuff is out of the way. So that uh, Andre can just come and grab a bowl in between meals. Because he's, you know, he's sprouting up real fast. And 
Henry. His dad used to eat a lot too. So I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, make it easy for him. And on myself, because obviously whatever's cooking in that rice cooker, I'm going to be using for Amari is just... <laughs> right? And, you know, I don't know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So, before I get too far into the game here, I'm going to try and stay positive, even though I can't see very well. That in itself, people, is very, very, very draining. And then you throw in the dizziness. You know, after a while you get tired, right? And then if the medication makes you even tired, because it's more like a sleeping pill than it is an eye medication. Oh, I'm hoot. But besides that point. Okay. So, this is where we're at right now. And then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do here in a second. All right. So I bought this little machine. Apparently you can puree in this. When I read puree, I said, that's it, I want it. But of course you can make smoothies in it. <clears throat> and it crushes ice, apparently, really good. I don't know. I don't make smoothies, but we're going to start going towards that direction. And But I bought it more specifically because it's supposed to be a machine that's good for pureeing food. Okay, Mari in mind. And then I bought this, which comes from India, and it's very potent and extremely high in vitamin C. And people from India, I don't know exactly what religion, because they're all kind of like from the same ethnic heritage. <clears throat> because they're from India, right? But then you've got the Hindus, you've got the Punjabis, you've got the Tamils, and so on. Okay, anyway, either or, people from India, they like to use this as a medicine, okay? Because it's high in vitamin C, and it has other properties. I bought it because it's high in vitamin C. So, I would use this very, very sparingly. In terms of maybe a quarter teaspoon, right? A half a teaspoon to those super drinks that I'm going to end up making. And it would only be for the vitamin C part outside of anything else that... Because I have to double read up on it. and Right? I would use it very sparingly. I bought it for the vitamin C because it's higher than... It, it's, it's a superfood. Okay. And I would use it sparingly. Because apparently it tastes really bad. <laughs> bitter. It's very bitter, apparently. So, you, you know, if, if you're trying to boost up your vitamin C count and whatever you're using it for, if you're an adult, you just suck it back. But if you're feeding it to, you know, like to kids or something in a drink or in a dessert or something, you would just sprinkle a little bit in just enough just to give it that little extra oomph in terms of the vitamins, the minerals, and that type of thing. Okay, and then this here is pearl bar barley that I bought from Organic Matters. That's all I bought. However, I've got probably 30 pounds of barley coming in from Amazon from Good to Live at 10 pound bags. Okay, and it's hulled barley, which means it has it's coating on it. That's the one grain that I really don't have in the house <coughs> in terms of long-term food storage because it doesn't necessarily store very well. Okay. But it's a food that I could probably start using more regularly within the rice cooker or 
in this little crock pot. Now I have big crock pots, several kinds, but I, you know, I don't have a lot of counter space. You can see people, right? <clears throat> Even when I clear things off, it piles up fast. Because I have these things in the background. Right, you can see. Okay. All right, whatever. So what we're going to... And then I got... I don't know, some kind of something else over there. And then... There's something else over there. And then I bought this little meat chopper so I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, I'm washing them and I'm just putting them on the counter to figure out where I'm going to put them and how I'm going to use them within my weekly um, food planning right with Andre in mind and with Amari in mind, com two completely different eating habits and eating requirements when it comes to texture, okay? And even taste, because when you start blending food and pureeing it up, if you don't combine them correctly, they don't necessarily come out tasting very good, and of course Amari will be... Mm -hmm. So I have to, you know, I don't know, people, it's not easy, like, what what I'm doing here, but I'm doing, right? And because I am, oh my God, I'm stiff today. I don't know why, achy. Um, and because I am at the end pretty much of quote unquote food prepping, minus the few things that I still have to put away. Now I do want to can bacon bits and pieces after I'm done the butter. Because when you have a lot of beans in the house and that kind of thing, you know, and if you, right, you just, as a added flavor, just whatever, that comfort food. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I've seen a couple of videos to YouTube recommendations and, <clears throat> you know, it's easy peasy and it would be in my best interest to do that. So I, I'm not out of the woods with canning yet. Okay, I'm just not. And we still have to do that fish. But first is the butter. Right? So the next time I go see the eye doctor, I might just end up buying a whole whack of bacon. Uh -huh. And some more jars, but I'm going to can them in half pint size jars for the most part. And uh, I'll can that up before... I can't can anything anymore because of this crap, okay? But for now, what we're doing is we're looking at these little household appliances to see if they're going to be conducive to uh, making very nutritional grains, slow cooking the grains, that kind of stuff, whatever, beans, whatever. Well, technically you're not really supposed to slow cook beans unless maybe you boil them first for 10 minutes to boil off those uh, toxic enzymes that are in beans. People, they don't know that. They think it's safe to cook beans in a crock pot. And it is providing you take the first step, I would think, and boil them on the stove first for 10 minutes to release those toxins. Drain them and then put them into your crock pot and then you can slow cook, okay? <coughs> Keep that in mind. So if I was to cook beans in this, which I probably will at some point, that's what I would do. I'd, I'd cook them first on the stove, boil them off, rinse them off, and then put them into the crock pot and then just let them simmer with whatever whatever it is that I'm uh, doing at that time. Now this is a good little size for my family because there's really just the three of us, right? I mean, Andre himself, depending on what's in there, could eat half in one sitting, 
I'm just saying. So I decided to get the one. I tried to get three in a row and whatever. They said it was shipped and then I got an email back from Amazon saying that the order was can I, I my money was refunded and then I went back to the website where you know on you on Amazon right to see why you know why it was canceled it, you know why because when I bought it it was a hundred and twenty one dollars and ninety nine cents and then when I went back after they refunded my money they changed the price on it to hundred and fifty seven dollars and ninety nine cents that's why they refunded me my money people yeah. So I just wasn't going to do that. So I ended up buying other things instead. That's how I ended up buying the rice cooker, to which I think I'm going to be much more happier with. And I settled for one of these. And if I like this, I can always buy another one. All right. So this is where we're at with this right now. And then we're going to come back with the other things and as I'm going see this is washed this is not so I'm going to wash this right and then I've got another thing that I just washed and you're going to see them all lined up and then because I created myself a dilemma in terms of where am I going to put these things that are handy as if I got any room in this kitchen but you know I don't want to be dealing with stoves and stuff like that when I can just put it in a nice little crock pot and not worried about it as much, right? Because, you know, I'm, I don't know people. And of course, because I'm so stressed out, right? You know, I feel worse. Yesterday, I don't know. Anyway, let me come back. Hold on. Okay, so as I'm washing this here, I'm thinking about Andre and Mr. Gobbleguts. Well, you don't even know how many dishes he creates. I mean, man, you just don't know. He scatters shit around. That's all I do. People, I'm a dish maid. Anyway, this maybe will help to cut down on some of this stuff that <laughs> Andre does, right? Anyway, I was thinking, well, what could I do with this thing that would, you know, Audrey would be like, can't wait to eat it, right? And I'm like, well, you just can those sausages. The only thing is, they were in quart-sized jars, right? If this was a big crock pot, you could put the whole quart-sized jar into it and whatever else you want and let it stew and oh man it would be so delicious but there's no way I'm gonna open up a quart size jar for this but if I canned them in a pint size jar that would be perfect that would be perfect you put a jar of that in with whatever Whatever you want. Chickpeas, beans, potatoes, carrots. So, I did plan on canning those sausages, those pork sausages, like I just did recently, because with the beef broth, oh, it's so good. And uh, I still haven't opened up a jar of those meatballs. I read... You know, I watch videos, right? And I read comments and stuff. And You know, so many people, especially in the United States, are having issues with their food that they're purchasing people with it spoiling faster. And quite a few of them mentioned Walmart. Whatever they're buying in Walmart is expiring faster or even before its due date when it comes to milk products. Now, I haven't experienced that, but then I don't shop by any means regularly, right? Um, but that hamburger, I don't know. Anyway, reading the comments, and somebody said that Walmart uses that pink slime 
in their hamburger. So, you know, that's something just to keep in mind when you're canning things. I mean, ideally, if you can just buy beef, roast, and grind it up yourself, that's the best, right? But we can't always do that. So, either or, the sausages worked out really well, so I am definitely going to go out of my way to can at least at least 12 jars, if not more, in this size with this in mind because I know for a fact that Andre would gobble that up and then of course for Amari I'd have to take that out and put it into another appliance that grinds it up really well without me having to take my finger and start poking around in the food after it's been freaking grinded to make sure there's no chunks in there. I don't know if I'll ever be able to find a machine that will do that for me. That's kind of why I went out of my way to maybe buy a few more machines because the one that I have up there doesn't matter what I spin it in it. You know, there's the majority of it looks like it's all pureed. But once you start putting your finger and you're feeling around, you're pulling out chunks of this and chunks of that and bits of this and bits of that. And I just can't have that for Amari people. I just can't. So I, I was kind of like forced to do this. <laughs> or at least that's how I justified it. But anyway, now that that makes me feel good because I'm like, I got my first meal in mind when it comes to adding anything of meat. And also, too, the butter that I canned, for example, you know, you, you have to bring it up. You know, you got to bring it up to a certain temperature and, you know, just, just in case you, there's that botulism. It doesn't mean that there is, but there's always that possibility with a low acid food. You know, you could take a, coo a few scoops of this, like butter, right? Because I'm like, you know, how can I open a jar of that canned butter and incorporate it? Well, I can probably put it in here with something as it's cooking, whether on high or you can bring it to high, right? And then turn it down, and, and that would be perfect, people. That would be perfect. So even if butter became obsolete because, you know, it's so expensive and it's only for the elite now, <coughs> I still have a little butter. Okay, now we're going to open up this box. <coughs> so we got that one washed. So two are washed. I'm just washing them right now, opening up. I got one more box after this and one more appliance. And then I have to work with these ones, right? And they, these are, you know, things that Andre can learn to uh, work with in terms of Andre, go fill up the rice cooker, right? With uh, well, whatever, because this does more than just rice. So, we'll see. I'll show you what it is in a minute. I move slow, right? If you know, my eyes are always going like this. It's because I'm trying to not be dizzy, that's why. Yeah. I'm really dizzy the last couple of days. But I think it's because I've been wanting to cry, and I have cried a little bit, which, Lucy, is dangerous for me. Okay, the last time I cried, cried, cried. And they wasn't even crying. It was when my landlord came with her son, and they threatened to bring a bin and throw all my shit out in the bin. Because they just, whatever. I came inside. I was doing a video. It was the last thing on my mind. They showed up, and then... Next thing you know, it they drop. I don't know what kind of fucking bomb on me, but by the time I came back in and turned on the camera, I started crying. And right after that, my eyes just went fucking like so smoky, and it stayed like that. That was at the end of February, around February, and by the end of April, I lost. 
oh god, 95% of my vision. 90, 93% of my vision. I don't know. I lost a lot of my vision. <laughs> so it has a manual that I can't see. <laughs> so, needless to say, I don't want to cry. Because if my eyes, I think what happens is the pressure becomes so intense, it squeezes those octave nerves. Like literally just squeezes the octave nerves. That's what makes everything go cloudy. Because it, you, it closes them. And they're either going to open up or they're going to stay closed and you become blind. And because I'm fighting so hard back tears, just my brain is on overdrive. But then walking around all the time with either glare that hurts my eyes, or that's an unusual tray. Or uh, I don't think you use it, but it's quite strong. can't let loose. Not that I could anyway. There's this little guy. This is something Andre can learn to use. It's a Toshiba, and it's heat induction. What attracted me to this? Well, obviously it can cook multiple things, and um, but the heat itself just doesn't stay at the bottom of the appliance and work its way up and spits out a lot of whatever, I guess, at the top of these things. Where this one, the heat is on three levels because of the way they made it right it penetrates on the bottom the middle and at the top so everything kind of cooks evenly versus from the bottom up okay and then there's another one of those trays on the bottom so. The cord is detachable. They give you little plastic spoons. Got the directions. And this is what it is. one of those things as if I can see it can't really see it but Andre helps me when I can't see things I don't know how to open it honestly I don't it appears to have a handle on it that's how I do things by feel. What is this? I don't know. I don't break it yet. How do you get into it? I don't know people. 
apparently it swings back really fast so when you figure it out you got to be careful because I read the comments I think that's another thing that messes with my eyes I strain on the computer with the, oops there we go was this button and somebody was complaining that it opened up too fast when they do the reviews it has a little measuring cup And of course you notice the size, right? Just enough basically from the three of us. And you know, where I don't have to stress out with cooking it on the stove. It will cook for itself. And apparently when things are cooking, it starts to smell very good. This is something that Andre can learn to read the directions. And fill up and there's direction there's recipes that I can print out that give suggestions to this this is just Andre's very um, hasty <laughs> so you know ask him to go get something and he goes and so when you come back everything's just torn apart thrown all over the place you find it over there and you gotta put everything back. I tell him, Andre, Nana can't see. You gotta stop doing this. You, you know, you, you're 12 years old, right? <laughs> you don't need to be a you know, little scatterbug, right? It wasn't me, it wasn't me. I said, well, come on, Andre, who, who else is in the house? Like, right? So it is a tough one. I guess that's why they've got these things. So I gotta make sure anything that they. This. Um, I guess this other blender here, no, this other appliance I'll show you in a minute, has a little spatula, so I'm going to keep all these little things close by, so that, right, okay, so I'll wash that, and then, Again, it's about the same size as that little mini crock pot, pot. So, in essence, I could have two of them going at the same time. This one could be rice with, I don't know, little bits of something. Or maybe something like this that has little beans and just whatever, right? Or whatever. And then in this one, I could have the pork sausage, say from a jar, or the, you know the beef. With, put it in there with gravy, and you know just maybe one vegetable, or right. And then do you see, versus using the stove. And again, this is something that Andre can learn to fill up, which he wants to learn how to cook. So this would help him to do that. Versus making a big mess on the stove for me and piling up on the dishes, man, because these dishes are killing me. You don't even know. You don't even know I, I have to wash dishes after I wash these things. And I was in the kitchen for four hours washing dishes yesterday. If I miss one day, oh, I'm in there for four fucking hours. You don't even know. And then when he leaves his dishes around the house, oh, that's even worse. Because everything gets dried and just whatever, you know. Ugh. So. Okay, so I'm not sure what this is. So I better put it back on. Assuming I know how. I guess it's some sort of a little vent thing that's supposed to be easy to clean. So I'll wipe that down and I'll wash those and then we'll go on to the next appliance. Right. Let's see what's going on here. Right. If I didn't have grandkids, 
I wouldn't be doing this. Okay. So yeah, the other thing I'm as I'm wiping everything down here, right, and washing this one little appliance here, I'm thinking I just it just crossed my mind that this will help to teach Andre some independence. You know, to look after himself a little bit, right? Because once he learns how to do this, <coughs> then, um, what do you call it? You know, he, he gains confidence. It's one thing frying hot dogs. It's another thing setting this up. Right? So, that's, uh, what I'm thinking it will help him to uh, learn to look after himself a little bit in a more, I guess you could say, nutritional sense, right? Because he's only allowed to cook so much on the stove and only when I'm around, right? <laughs> One time he was in here, he put something on the stove. I don't know where I was. I was around. And, uh, I don't know, one of the cats jumped, I think probably little Mo, jumped up on the stove and knocked something, a piece of paper, because, you know, he never, when he opens things, he never throws things in the garbage, right? He just scatters it all over, like, seriously. Anyway, um, we're working on that. <laughs> right? And I guess it caught on fire. So when he came... It was already starting, and he got scared, and he, he came and he showed me, and I said, well, I was, I think I was at my computer. I said, because he walked away from it, and then he came back, and, it, and he goes, oh, my God, now, it caught on fire. The cat pushed the paper into the element in the pot. I said, yeah, Andre, that's why you don't leave things cooking on the stove by themselves. And, you know, that's, of course, maybe it's on low or something like that, but... You know, when you're getting into the higher heats, no, Andre, you know, because he thinks he can just put on a this and go watch TV. And I'm like, no, 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 no. If you're going to cook, you need to stay around in the kitchen, right? I'm teaching him, right? Just basics. But because he's, you know, doesn't necessarily always listen to me and thinks he can be sneaky sometimes, then, uh, yeah, he'll do it. Like, for example, when he did that video with Jude, I caught him, and I told him I caught him. Because, first of all, where was your helmet, Andre? He's like, he's usually really good putting on a helmet. Oh, oh my helmet was wet. I said, I don't care. I don't want to have to go out on the cement and scrape up your freaking brains because you weren't wearing a helmet as you're going down the road with... What, what did he do? No no hands and I don't even think his feet were on the pedals like come like oh my god his bike is broken it's not getting fixed for a while no you know he's not following the rules right I mean he is 12 that's the age but still well it's the same principle with the stove like there's certain rules so. Okay, so now we're going to go into another appliance. So hold on. Okay, so I just put eye drops in. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> anyway. Now what this little guy is... <clears throat> is, uh... Well... It's a meat chopper, but I guess you can chop other things in it as well. Right? Nuts and vegetables and that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure. But they have to be cut up in small pieces. So this blade here, you can kind of see it's unique. Right? It's not your standard blade, that's for sure. And of course, I had Mari on my mind, reading through the comments, someone said they made a, a ham salad, 
and they used this little machine to chop up the ham. I'm not sure how they made the ham salad. They just said it really it was really good. And I thought, oh, well, that sounds interesting. I could see. They have little blade protectors, too. I could see Andre liking ham salad, and that's probably something that I can puree good for Amari. So, if this... I don't know, we'll have to see how it chops it up. Right? And so... Again, I had not only Andre on my mind, but Amari on my mind, right? Now, chop it up, make ham salad, I can feed Andre as is. Amari, I'd have to take it to another machine and process it a bit more. Point is, you know, we want to make it as efficient as possible. Especially when you're losing your eyesight, okay? A lot of these machines can do the work for me versus me having to sit there and try and... Or, like I said, Andre can learn to start filling up this stuff and make a really good dinner. And then he'll be proud of himself, and he'll be encouraged to make more and get creative as I teach him more. So that's good. Um, eventually, I can teach him how to make Mari's food by whatever he made. Now you take it to that machine, and you and now you got food for Amari. All right. So it has a little lid. It wasn't anything fancy. It wasn't too expensive. It looked like it was okay in terms of fast and convenient and effective. So then it has a little motor. This tall thing that's supposed to puree food is supposed to have six blades in it but I only see four so I don't know where the other two blades are but it has a 900 watt motor so you can only run it at two minutes at a time but a 900 watt motor is pretty powerful so it does what it's supposed to do pretty fast but it should puree as well and with that kind of motor I would think, well, we'll find out, because nothing I can't stand is blending up Amari's food, <coughs> thinking it's pureed, but I have to double check, right, we know that, right, so I go in there with my finger, and then I'm like, you know, I spend like 20, 15, 10 minutes, whatever, depending on what it is that I'm trying to, you know, and, and it's, oh, it's just so annoying. Even if I, you still have to find it. It's not, the one I'm using is just, okay, so this is the motor that goes on top of this thing. If I can even line it up. Yes, that's it. So this is what this looks like. Do you see? Right, and then when it's plugged in, I guess you just push this, and everything gets chopped up, depending on how long you run it for. To how it gets chopped up, I don't know. To what degree it can get chopped up to, I don't know, but even if I was to and you could chop up raw meat or whatever, right? So let's just say I wanted, because I got meat in my freezer, I unthaw it, and I just want to chop it up because we are making some rice or whatever, black rice or whatever, right? Wild rice, whatever, rice with mixed rice with beans, whatever, whatever we're making, and then 
chop up my chicken, raw chicken, after I've unthawed it. With some seasoning and broth and, oh man, between the two of them, it would be so good. And that's something Andre can learn to, uh, it will help, it will help to help him to compart, compartmentalize, to put things into compartments in his brain so that it actually works for him versus being a freaking scatterbrain and throwing everything all over the fucking house as he's frying hot dogs and making juice. I'm just saying. Frank, <laughs> or whatever. I mean, there's only so many things he can cook by himself. Eggs, hot dogs, grilled cheese sandwich, bagels, you know, I don't, you know, he, he did bacon. He was so proud of himself, right? <laughs> but here he can really learn the different food groups and how to combine them. And, you know, I, I don't have to worry about him chopping up his freaking fingers, right? Outside of make sure you unplug the unit when you're done. And even then, I would watch him to make sure that he does it correctly. I would never let him do it on his own because, you know, he's too young. To, he just, who knows. But as time goes by and he gains confidence and more experience, oh, yeah. Okay, so we got one more with Amari in mind, obviously Andre. Like I said, if I didn't have grandkids, I wouldn't have done this. Just like if I didn't have these grandkids around me the way I do, I wouldn't have all these toys that I've got in this freaking house. That uh, sometimes, you know, I get criticism for it. Yeah, all this stuff. Yeah, well, it's because I've got grandkids that come and play with it. How about that? You ever stop to think about that one? Right. My son is just probably waiting for the day when he can throw everything out. <laughs> that's, that's being rude. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, Mom. Don't you worry. Yeah. Whatever. That's okay. I'm still de dealing with some of that shit that he threw out in the garage, having it in here getting in my way. Besides that point. Okay, so here we are now. And then we've got one more baby that was expensive. This one, I next one I'm showing you is the last one, I think. All right, because I just went with the basics. Okay, so this one's the 900 watt motor that can run for two minutes. <coughs> was advertised to have six blades, but at this point I can only see four. But for what I paid for it, I think it was under 60 bucks or something maybe $72 or something by tax and everything. It's not worth sending back, okay? I'm just going to keep it and give it a shot. And it has, uh, I think, four different speeds. It has pulse. <coughs> Hold on a minute. Okay, yeah, four different speeds. You can do multiple things in this, okay, including puree. You make smoothies, it can crush ice. It can do four, like, lots of different things, okay? And plus it has pulse. And a really high motor, so I'm going to keep that. Okay, then we've got the crock pot, and we already got a couple of ideas going with that. Then we've got this, so we know these two are probably going to be going on on a regular basis. I can see that happening, right? Because Andre wants to, you know, he he eating more, right? So we need to just to make things that start early in the day, and he can help himself when he wants it, right? And then we've got this to make it easier to fill up these these things okay and even even this you know you can put in raw carrots in this you have to put them in small little pieces chop them up and then you can put them in here and really blend them up I'm just saying right so now we've got one more that specifically um, I don't know just hold on a minute and then because back in the day I haven't used it yet, but I bought a cast iron, and I did order a couple of cast iron things that are coming in, okay, uh, one to make soup bowls with, and when we get into the sourdough bread. Anyway, I bought this cast iron uh, tortilla presser, 
Okay, so when I got it, there was recipes. Can't really see, right? There was recipes. Anyway, I printed it out yesterday. Oh my god. It used up all my ink, people. Pretty much. I just barely made it. And I had it all nicely stacked. They're not really numbered, right? And Andre knocked over the pile. So I don't know. Now I have to try and figure it out. And sort it out here because everything's all mixed up. See what I mean? Just, just scatter, scatter. Right? That's all I do is go around cleaning up after Andre all the time. Like you don't even know. You know, I have never cleaned up after one kid in all my life as much as I have with Andre. Yeah. And I had five kids. Yeah. I don't remember it being like, like that. That was different. I don't know. Anyway, now I have to organize this. So before I get into that box, I'm going to see if I can organize this. And it has a whole bunch of different recipes for for bread. Breads, right? And flat breads and that kind of thing. So, you know, as you're doing this, with these appliances, I know, we can make, and I've got the wheat, I've got the wheat mill, you know, the grinder, right? Whatever, and... We've got the noodle makers, right? We've got two different kinds. We've got that Asian one, which looks really, really fun and interesting. And then we've got this one, right? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, whatever you're making in these things. Oh, see, something all sticky on here. Like, why? What? This kid drives me nuts. Like, constantly. That's all it is. That's all I do. Is going around cleaning up after him. He's only been hanging here for a little while. And he spilt a bunch of shit on it. But it's in a bag. It's on the outside. It's not the point. You know? So hopefully this will help him to, uh, like I said, compartmentalize his thinking process. He can be a little more methodical about it and learn to clean up after himself as he goes along. And You know, it's not so... I don't know. And of course, it's fairly safe right in terms of you know we're not dealing with major after what uh, I was gonna move that but I just haven't had a chance anyway what else are not as for in my situation other than to clean right. hold on a minute okay I'm just gonna read some of these things this, this is all mixed up I'm so mad you don't even know I'm gonna have to go on to the uh, computer and match them up on the computer because they're mixed up in here. They're not, they didn't number these pages and for whatever reason the titles were... Oh, whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to read. We got flour tortillas, almond flour tortillas, bean and pork quesadillas, I don't know what that is, chicken Quesadillas, okay, whatever. Tortillo chips, tortillo French toast, breakfast burritos, whole wheat tortillos, roti flatbreads, capati chips with raya to dip, capati quesitos, <laughs> roti shivada. Chapati noodles, chapati cutlets, simple chapati with eggs. I don't even know what this is. Chapati upma, Indian lasanga, Indian nan, nan wraps, nan with egg salad. Roasted vegetable nan, nan chicken burgers, cheesy squashy pizza, <laughs> creamy salmon pizza, fig and cheese nan, grilled nan chicken pizza, hummus pizza, chappy bread, and spicy egg with chapia. Anyway, it took up all my ink. And now it's all mixed up. 
So I am going to match it up with what I have on the computer. I will number them and then I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them in those plastic that moved on its own. It slipped. Do 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 do. <laughs> I don't remember touching it. Anyway. Oh my god, I want to cry. Why? Maybe it's this new medication, people. All of a sudden, the tears just feeling up in my eyes here, man. Because I feel like crap, that's why. Anyway, I'll reorganize it, number it, and then I'm going to put these into plastic sheets so they don't get dirty. Put them in a little binder. And Andre and I are going to experiment with this right along with this stuff with our appliances. And that's when I'll bring out the cast iron tortilla maker that flattens it. Okay? Just seeing. And apparently this rice cooker, there's some recipes I can uh, print out as well for this little rice cooker. So, but I have to get some more ink. Hold on a minute. One more box. Okay, so this one was a bit more expensive. I think it was like 130 bucks. But it's supposed to be good. And it can puree as well. Okay. I don't, people I guess know the brand. Nutri, Nutri Ninja with Auto. I got the better one that I guess has a sensory to let you know that whatever you're blending up is done so I don't know if that's true or not I won't know until I try so hold on okay so now I have books around the house for juicing and all that but that's never really been my style well and anyway we'll see and I'm gonna try and give it to Amari in the new cups with a different kind of nipple. It's like a sippy nipple, but the problem with that is he chews the, these things fast and he, you know, right? And um, they don't last very long, the silicone nipples. But, and he won't take the hard sippy cups. That has to be the silicone. <clears throat> but I figure, <clears throat> excuse me, if I start maybe doing something like this, and throw in a little bit of barley or something where he doesn't notice it. Just saying, right? Depending on what you're doing. Then, hopefully, you know, I can get him to drink it from a sippy cup. Even if it's in a silicone nipple. Right? And that would be the, the Nuke brand. Okay, so let me open this up and see what we get. Actually, let me turn this back on because you see, here's the problem. Because I don't get a lot of help people that's that's a big issue for me All right you know, four hours doing dishes think about it I'm just saying okay so we know we're going to start using this which requires more fresh vegetables especially if vegetables are deteriorating faster these days as they're coming out of grocery stores to which they are even in Canada and when you do stuff like this you know you want it to be as fresh as fresh can be my issue is I don't drive anymore people it's not like I can go hop into my car and run off to the grocery store and pick up this and pick up that you know I can't even walk okay because by the time I walk pushing a stroller and don't forget Amari's getting bigger now you know and then walking back right you know I'm exhausted I'm exhausted <coughs> and then I have other things to do so I'm really hoping that when I'm ready <coughs> 
which will probably start this very soon. I'm just going to ask Tisha. I'm going to talk to her, right? As a matter of fact, I'm going to be babysitting the kids tonight. And I'll say, look, Tisha, look what I got. I need you to go to the grocery store for me two times a week and pick me up fresh fruit and fresh vegetables. I'll hunt around for my juice um, books or whatever. So that, uh, because again, this is something that Andre can do. Right? And as long as I provide him with different kinds of recipes and combinations, I mean, he's going to figure out what he likes the best. Right? But it's just, I need that, I need, I need access to that fresh fruit and vegetables. And I can't get it, people. You know, and then when I'm asking Tisha to go off and get it for me, you know, it can get daunting for her, right? Oh, and now you got me going to the grocery store two times a week for you, Mom. Don't say I don't do nothing for you, Mom. Well, it's not that I don't think you do nothing for me, but, you know, when I need help, especially now, people, right? It's just easier just to help me be done with it, and then I won't bother you, but I'm sorry that I bother you because I have no one else to ask. Can't ask my son. He does his shop with his girlfriend whenever they shop, but it's not like he going to run off to the grocery store and get me something because, you know, you're working and shit, right? Just whatever. And then that makes me depressed. I can't send Andre. He's too young. You know, it's not like I can send him off to the grocery store and get it. And I don't think once a week, I think going twice a week would be better for quality. Right? And then if you run out of something, you can replace it right away. It's just, it, you know, Tisha has to go out of her way to help me to get the food. And then if she leaves the country, I'm hooped, people. Like, serious, I'm hooped. Anyway, it comes with a book, so that's good. Gets you started. Alright. So now I'm on a mission to look for other books around the house. <coughs> I don't even know where I'm going to put these things because I have no counter space. Especially if I'm canning or whatever, but... Like, I'm dizzy, people. Like, I don't get it. Like... I think these eye drops are making me even more dizzy than the other fucking eye drops. There's no reason for me to be dizzy like this. None. And now I'm getting a surge of tears coming because I'm dizzy and I'm frustrated. But I have to fight back those tears because if I let them come and everything goes fucking cloudy, <coughs> then I'll wake up and there'll be nothing left. Yeah. So anyway, I'm trying to stay positive here, people. I'm trying to make life a little more interesting and a little more productive and fluent. At least in this department. I'm almost done with this video. Okay, that's the video for the day. Great Northern beans to bag up, and I bought that cumin rice. It came a uh, wheat. It came in, so I've got that to bag up, and put away, and um, I've got uh, the barley coming. The barley 
when it comes, I'm going to roast it, and then I'm going to wean myself off of coffee and sugar. And I'm going to drink barley tea. I'm going to try it anyway. And then this way, if I do that, I'll be more apt to use it. Right? Because it's not a grain that can sit for too many years. You know, it's kind of like a brown rice. So I suppose you could bag it up like I did with the black rice. Take your chances. Get five years out of it, maybe six. Hard to say, right? Or you can start drinking barley tea. It's hard when you're dizzy doing this shit. And in part it's because the eyes, because your brain's not working, right? Your brain has to work by ten times harder just to be able to see. And you're probably wondering how I was able to see that without glasses. And well, sometimes I mean if I if don't ask me to read like this because I can't I can't distinguish too much, okay? It's the only it's the right eye that <laughs> gets me by. And some days it's good and some days it's not, and it's not that it's good because you have to remember there's only thirteen percent of octave nerves left. So th that's a lot of vision loss, okay? And that's assuming that it's still at thirteen percent. It could be less by now. Because it's not going to improve. It's just going to get worse, right? So, you know, in these changing and flipping of glasses constantly throughout the day for various different reasons doesn't help the eyes either. Like, I couldn't even read this with these glasses. Only certain glasses that I might be able to read, and even then I have to use a magnifying glass. It depends on the size of the print, how dark it is. This situation is seems to be okay. You know, if I put it back a little bit, I can kind of read it. Flower to teals, almond, flower to teals, right? You know, I have to move things around. Okay, and because I know how to read, I don't have to look at every each letter to be able to pronounce out the word. Right? Just saying. Okay. Anyway. Whew. Andre's been leaving the heat on and I go to sleep and I tell him, Andre, if I'm not sleeping, you have to turn down the heat. Right? And, you know, and he doesn't. And it's so dry and oh, it's just terrible. Okay, so the base of this is really sturdy. See how these things are like too, these cupboards are way too low. So it's not, oh my god, it, it sticks. It sticks. It's like, I don't know, how, why is it sticking? How do you release it? It stuck itself uh -huh. onto my counter, what the hell? I'm afraid to pull it. It has suction cups. <laughs> well, at least one, two, three. Okay, so it has suction cups. <laughs> hmm. So maybe I should put it on a plate. What do you think? Because it's going to do that again. <laughs> Okay, I want to cry. I get a wave. Why? What's going on here? It's like labor pains. <laughs> Serious. <sighs> okay, don't be afraid to pull it off. It'll be fine. I don't like that though. <laughs> I just got it and I'm afraid I'm going to break it because it wants to stick itself to my counter. 
moment. I understand why it does that. It holds it in place, right? Even still. Okay, let's just get on with it. I have to wash everything anyway. Andre likes pushing buttons. <coughs> he knows how to use the remote, but I don't. Can't even see it. So of course I'll wash this. And maybe Tisha can go and there's an idea. I'll phone her up. And before she brings the kids, I'll ask her to go to the grocery store. And just pick up some fresh strawberries. I don't know something right and then we make a drink or something I guess the kids try it now you see these ones are plastic this one's glass So I guess these things screw on. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how that works. How, how, how does this... How do you make it spin? I have a bullet in my bathroom about years ago, probably at Value Village, and honestly, I've never used it. So, we've got that little tool yet to experiment with when the time comes. So, I guess this is the main base. So, I guess when the time comes. Okay. A different blade kind of system than your standard blender, which I have a blender. And I guess you can use these? No. So you use the one that you can screw on. Oops. Oh, can you screw this on? Oh yeah. So you can screw these both on. So you can... You make your drink yeah whatever drink you're making now you remember I can cook up my barley make it really really because barley is very nutritional or whatever I want when it comes to my grains or whatever and as I'm making Amari's drinks because that's what I'm thinking I have to get them just you know right gotta get them away from that supplemental drink and it's not enough and since he's not wanting to really eat the food per se because you know I don't like holding his face like this and you know come on Amari you know like I don't want to create a eating phobia so I'm trying to make it fun for him and interesting and you know I'm right so anyway I can sneak in barley or whatever 
just a tablespoon here or a tablespoon there, even for uh, Andre. They wouldn't notice if they're tasting strawberries. I'm just saying. It's just how do I get the strawberries two times a week delivered to the house without... You can't... Listen. You can't... Oh, yeah, you can order it from Amazon, or not Amazon, from Walmart or places like that and have it delivered. But the people that go off and pick this shit and put it in a box and then bring it to your house, it's not anything that you would pick if you had a choice to go to the grocery store and pick it for yourself. So I don't even waste my time. I did that once before, and I was so disgusted. I ordered a banana, bananas, and they came back and gave me one banana, and it was, like, all beat up. Like, forget it. Keep your damn banana. Yeah, I'm just saying... <coughs> so I, you know, I, I don't know how to, because, you know, oh, I just brought you, I just brought you, you know, kale and cucumber and, and lettuce and or whatever two, three days ago. Well, why do I have to do it again? Well, because. Can't you do it for yourself? Send Andre to the store. I'm not going to send him walking all the way to Nestor's. I can't. He's too young. You'll get kidnapped. You got predators out there, people, that roam around looking for street kids that will give them money to befriend them. I take Andre out, and people come up and say, can I give your, you know, give, give him $20? And I'm like, look, well, why? Well, just, you know, and like Andre's got this $20 in his hand. And it's not, it's whatever, yeah, okay. But, you know, I, 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 that's how they, that's how they target them. You know, hoping that they'll show up outside one day by themselves. And they'll offer them the $20. And they'll take it. Because they've already taken it from when they were smaller, right? And then that's when they start the conversation. And then who knows what will happen from there. I don't even want to send Andre out in that situation. And a lot of fucking Tamika Johnson's running around out there, okay? Looking for something, you know? I'm just saying. I had to pull out her name, people. Because that's the kind of hoodlums that are out there, right? They're looking for young boys like Andre to be able to manipulate for whatever reason. You know, so I can't send him to the store by himself. And I just don't have the energy to walk there two times a week. So this doesn't really seem to go on there. Unless there's a certain way. I don't know, maybe it just... Oh, here we go. Okay. And then once you're done, you take it off, and you can go like this and put it in the fridge. So you have for tomorrow, depending on what you do. And this should be power, power, powerful enough that I could do cooked vegetables, we'll just say carrots for example, half cooked. I mean I can do raw carrots too, but in a case for like Amari, <coughs> yes he can get his raw carrots hopefully in a smoothie with something else, but you know if I was to cook carrots, blend it up in that little thing that I got out there, I'm going to have to go in there with my finger and look for chunks that come in various sizes, even though the bloody thing looks pureed. I'm hoping that this machine will solve that problem so that when I run it through the blender, carrots with a little bit of whatever, broth, water, cream, whatever, and I blend it up, and, you know, it's I don't have to worry. I mean, I'd probably still have to check. But I will, I, not to the degree that I've been dealing with. And then he doesn't eat it yet. Whereas if I do it like that, and he doesn't want it, and he doesn't eat it, I can still take what I did and make carrot soup with it. Or I could take this and pour it into the crock pot with some chickpeas and let it stew with that. So it's not going to waste. Because I'm finding, you know, I'm making, making for Amari, not wanting to eat, not wanting to eat, going to waste. And I'm like, okay, you got to find a different way to do things, right? And you got to find a way to break him away from the bottle. So this, 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 I think, can work. 
providing that uh, it does what it says it does in terms of making everything really nice and smooth. Quickly. And then of course there's three different sizes here. So I'll wash these. Two of these size, one of these. <coughs> and then that's where, as I'm doing this stuff, I don't like that. Like, how the hell you get it off the counter? You have to slide it off. As soon as I exert myself, I want to cry. Why? What's going on here? This is the medicine, people. I'm on a new medicine now. I'm still on two different kind of eye drops. But they changed the medicine on one that was two times a day. Because it was making me so sleepy. It drying out everything, too. Like, my eyes are so dry, you don't even know. Look at this. Is there something, like, wrong with my counter? underneath it. Hold on. I doubt it will stick to a paper towel. I know why they do it, but still. You don't want it moving around on the counter when you're doing this stuff. I seem to have lost the directions already. Maybe that's it. Yeah. So, if it wasn't for my grandchildren, I wouldn't have done this. So, no regrets, right? There's a lot of pros compared to the cons. Okay, and there's really not that many cons other than I don't really have any place to put them. Where I can just leave them stationary and they can be used on a every second, third day basis. Okay, you know, there's only so much room on top of my fridge. There's only so much room on top of my counter. And, you know, I have a lot of food in the house, so my cupboards are full. Anyway, but there's more pros than there are cons. Okay, can puree, can cook anything, can cook a variety of things, can chop a variety of things, can puree and make smoothies and prepare vegetables for soups or whatever. So I'm pretty impressed, I would say. I think this will be very handy and this is something that Andre can learn to use and build on his cooking skills with confidence, right? And I won't have to worry about things catching on fire on the stove because the cat jumped up on the counter and knocked a piece of paper on the element or whatever, right? You know, 
because I can't stand here and watch him all the time, right? And he wants to do more, and I'm like, no, no, no. Well, here's your opportunity, Andre. Here's, here's directions right here. Start reading. And I'll phone up Tisha today, and I'll see if she can, um, I'll wash this, get it ready, and I'll see if uh, she can pick me up something. And Andre can help make a drink for the kids. See? Strawberry banana. One small banana. Peeled. Halved. Low-fat milk. I don't know what ag agave is. And frozen strawberries. I have to empty out my freezer up here somehow, some way. At least half of it. And that's not happening. Ginger greens. Antioxidant refresher. Carrot tip top. Call me Popeye. That looks like it's got kiwi and date in it. And we know I've got lots of dates in the house. <coughs> That's good. Ninja 9. I don't know. I can't see what that picture is. There's all kinds of stuff in here. I don't know why they did that. Oh, and then you can take notes. Uh, they have it in a different language. Tropical Refresh Fruit Ice Pops. So the next big chore is to try and empty out half of my freezer so that I can start freezing ice cubes, make, make homemade ice cream, and then get into making little popsicles or whatever, whatever, whatever. As I go about other things that I do. And, of course, Andre will learn how to make these things because we just don't know what's going to happen with me. All right. So, yeah, that's it. So that's the end of this video. I'll just take one more pan, and then I got to... only thing I got to do is wash this and get it ready. So that hopefully we can maybe do a little video, or I'll include it in the next video when we use it. Which will hopefully be today, because it would be fun to give the kids just even a tester cup, something. And then I have to figure out where to put these, this wash, this wash, this is already done. And this is done, but this one's not. So i got to figure out where I'm going to... Well, this one, I'm thinking... Now, mind you, I still have canning to do. I got this butter and shit, and I have to, I have to uh, make the whipping cream into butter. And see, here comes the tears again because I'm frustrated with this situation. It was the frustration of all, well, you know, everything's going good, and then all of a sudden I come to a screeching halt because. I don't have enough kitchen space. Like, for example, I have my washing machine right there, which is really big and cumbersome. And, you know, where when you have a child like with Amari, you basically need your own laundry room just for Amari. With tables to be folding up blankets that you put underneath him and just his clothes and you know if you get into the diapers and yeah like but you just got to be grateful for what you have and not worry right so I figure when the time comes after I'm done the canning this little machine at least this one It's either going to sit on that counter or it's going to sit right there and I will make a cover for it with fabric 
I will make a cover for it because when you cover up your things like this, you don't get no dust on it, no grease, nothing, okay? Everything is all nice underneath and it stays like that forever. Okay. You see, that's what I'm thinking maybe. Right there. But I want to pick, make a cover for it. Not that we would be using the cover all the time, but use the machine and wipe it down, clean it, and then cover it up until the next time. But other than that, there would be nowhere else to put it. And let it, once I clear out in here, done when I'm done with my jars and canning, you see there's the canner right there, right? Big pot is over there on the floor, like. Well, at least that one didn't make me cry. So that's good. Oh, I gotta love that canner. Man. You gotta have that heart of steel when you're working with those pressure canners. That must be why no tears were ready to come to the surface. Because I had to toughen up. I had to pull myself up by those bootstraps, right? You know what I'm saying? 